I'm putting my big mouth out there to see if some of you'll listen to, you know, so listen to this. This is ridiculous. All of a sudden, they want to go ship us elsewhere. 27 investigates hundreds of pharmacies across Ohio will start turning people away in less than two weeks because of major changes to the state Medicaid system. We got tipped off on this story from local lawmakers and frustrated patients. I investigated and got answers for you from the insurance companies and state agencies. It's just ridiculous. I have a lot of prescriptions. That'll just make a hardship for me. Keith Clark and thousands of Medicaid patients across Ohio will have to go to a new pharmacy to get their prescriptions filled. My pharmacy is one mile away. They want me to go eight miles away. The changes are for patients who go through the United Healthcare Managed Medicaid Organizations program. The changes only impact United Healthcare patients. Starting March 1st, at least 800 pharmacies across Ohio will not be able to fill prescriptions under the new network plan. According to the Ohio Pharmacist Association, the Department of Medicaid doesn't have any plans to stop the changes United Healthcare is making. Patients say the move is restrictive and will make it more difficult for those who don't have access to transportation. They sent me a letter indicating that they are forcing me to choose a different pharmacy and I don't want to go elsewhere. In response, United Healthcare sent a statement saying, quote, as part of our ongoing efforts to ensure Medicaid beneficiaries have access to quality pharmacies that offer affordable medications, we are making changes to the network. We are working with those individuals who are affected by the changes to ensure they receive the medications they need, end quote. Senior Vice President of Pharmacy Operations for Hometown Pharmacies, Ron McDermott says UHC's claim the changes will help with affordable prescriptions doesn't add up. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they, why would the Medicaid system shove them to a pharmacy that's going to charge them more or charge the Medicaid system more than what we charge them? There is a silver lining for patients, though. If they wish the change to another managed Medicaid provider, they can do so through the end of April. State Senator Joe Schiavone says his office has been working to find a solution to help patients, but he's not sure if a solution will come soon enough. There has to be some way that um, everybody can get together on this. Now I'm not sure if there is. For now, patients across the state are working to find new pharmacies or make changes with their current insurance company. We want to get our voice heard. Petitions across the state have been signed and currently are being signed to show patient support behind the 800-plus pharmacies across Ohio.